Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. I'm out here in Phoenix off of 24th and Camelback today, looking at a couple of trees. And as you can see, the leaf miner is having its way with this grapefruit tree. These leaves were infected last night. And when they're new, they've got that glossy white sheen to them. Uh, here's one you can see. It's got the gloss. After a couple of days, they kind of look more dead and crinkled up like this. But you can see a number of leaves have been affected recently. What this does is the Asian citrus leaf miner has no natural predator. So uh, before, before it got to the valley, uh, if you had a problem with insects and citrus trees, there would be another insect that would come in in a year or so and and uh, wipe them out and maintain a balance. Because the leaf miner has been basically destroying leaves unchecked by any other predator, by any other insect that might eat it, uh, the reserve cells on the citrus trees have become depleted. And when the reserve cells become depleted, the leaves can no longer uh, produce natural occurring insecticides uh, in the leaf or in the fruit. And the other insects that usually weren't a problem are now uh, in epidemic proportions in the, in the Phoenix and Mesa area, just about everywhere in Maricopa County, we're seeing this happen. And the result is you get dieback. Sometimes you'll get a year where you'll have just an abundance of fruit, like we see with this grapefruit tree because the tree thinks it's dying. And then after that, you get two or three years where you don't get any fruit. They're more susceptible when the reserves are depleted. Uh, to uh, frost damage, soil-borne funguses. Now this one's about on its way out. But we might be able to bring this back. Even the sour orange, which are usually like weeds and don't usually have any problem because they just they just grow so well with so little care uh, which by the way is the the plant that they use for the rootstock for the citrus here in the valley even they will eventually succumb to uh, other problems when the reserves get completely depleted. It just takes them longer. But I've encountered a number of them where that's happened. So what we do is we come out and we get the customers straightened out on everything they need to do to get these things healthy again. We teach them how to spray for the insects. We teach them how to get the watering correct and we uh, encourage them to get a more natural environment for the trees to grow in. Now, something that might have added to this was this house was just bought and about a year or so ago, this rock was put in. And because there's no weeds here, I'm almost 100% certain that they put some sort of pre-emergent down 
to keep the weeds from growing. Well, we'd have a ton of weeds in here because there's there's nothing under the rock except dirt. So anytime you put a, a weed killer down, you're gonna affect the citrus trees. Okay, so what we do is we come out and we put in some, we, along with training the customers, we put in a couple of injections which will cause the tree to uh, get the stuff to the leaves quickly that they need to produce energy and one of the capsules has chemicals in it that will encourage the tree to produce its own natural occurring fungicides. And so that's it. This is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. If you got any questions or you want us to look at your citrus trees, the number is 480-969-8808. Thank you very much.